So, I want you to get into groups based on your sub-themes, and each group is going to do the same thing that we've done all semester. One person in the group is going to give the thesis, another person is going to give a supporting point, another person is going to give a supporting point, and someone's going to give the conclusion. But what's different about this essay from every other essay that you've done this semester? Compare and contrast. That's right. So in prior essays that you've done, you've just looked at one text, one story, and you've analyzed that story. In this essay, you'll be taking multiple works, two different works, and synthesizing them to come up with a unified thesis. The new term I want to introduce is synthesis. The difference between analysis and synthesis is that whereas analysis looks at one work and says the why of it, synthesis compares two or more works and constructs a unified thesis. Professor Coburn, so when we're doing our supporting point, do we choose a supporting point from each story or they both have to be combined in one supporting point? I would say have one, you're talking about supporting points or examples? Like. Like paragraph body one. Okay, so I say in, in your first body paragraph, you give an example from the first text, either the film or the story, mm -hmm. have a supporting point about it. In the second paragraph, do the same, but for the other text. Mm -hmm. And then the th third body paragraph, you can compare the and contrast the two. Oh, wait, oh, okay. So you only need one example from each text. Okay, okay. So for. Oh, the first paragraph, you yeah. can do one from. One from yeah. Get Out, the second one, one Blood Child, and the third. Our thesis is Octavia Butler and Jordan Pili confer and contrast the possession of human bodies to symbolize slavery of different kind. So for our su support and point number one, we use blood child. So in the text it said, she knew how to ma manipulate people, Turin and Tyler, but not this time. I don't want to be a host animal. So basically, he was saying that he's stronger minded and cannot be broken. For the second um, text that we used, it was the movie Get Out. So we used the example when the mother in law of Chris gave him a tea, um, that that tea helps her control the minds of the people. Um, but we also saw that not even by the tea that she gave him, he was able to get on her control. She w he was still stronger than her by not doing what she wanted her to do. We, for the supporting point number three, we just said that the both characters um, are stronger enough physical and mentally that they can overpass the mind manipulation that takes them to be slaves of the people that are trying to control them. So in conclusion, the authors both use mental psychology to manipulate the characters who were mentally too powerful to be broken into slavery. Okay. Besides me asking you to pair these two texts together, why should we look at these two texts together? Um, because both of the authors made it seem like it wasn't supposed to be slavery, but like in Blood Child, that's not what the author was trying to tell us. It was more of male male Yeah, that's how she made it seem. But once you take the power of somebody else and make them do something that they don't want to do, it is considered slavery. So I think that's one point. So the comparison between Blood Child text, the story, and Get Out the movie using Get Out the Movie, you can see how even though Octavia Butler says she's writing about male pregnancy, she's actually talking about slavery. Yes. And that movie allows you to see that when just looking at Blood Child, you wouldn't necessarily be able to see it. Exactly. 